Yola here. And we got another game, game number two, between uh, Turgon and Nathan in a single faction 1v1v1 tournament. This time Turgon is going to be in the top side and Nathan in the downside of the map. So we get Turgon in green playing as uh, Mordor with two slaughterhouses at the start and his opponent Nathan playing as Teal Goblin with two tunnels and a Goblin Cave on the way. So as you can see Turgon decided to go another strategy, another tactic with two Orc Pits at the start. Nathan just spotted his opponent. He's eager to win this game. If he's not about to win this game, he's going to be knocked down out of tournament and will not be able to go out of the quarterfinal to semi-final. And Turgon is one game away to get to the semi-final of the tournament. So we got two Orc Pits. Uh, of course, Orc Warriors will be produced over here while Nathan is going for another Goblin Cave. And he's going with Goblin Warriors. Nathan got three tunnels at the moment and he's ready to create 4 1. While his opponent got two slaughterhouse and uh, another one in, in creation and in process. Turgon just uh, get his tunnel land, he covered his opponent over here. Maybe it is good um, good idea, but you get definitely need to get first into your opponent's base to get this 50% uh, bonus of armor near his fortress so definitely if Nathan will be able to get off guard his opponent and not enable him to get into the this platform over here the standalone near the fo into his fortress he will be definitely okay as well Nathan choose uh, cave bats to cover and uh, debuff any units anyway Turgon goes from the left side as well as well as the right side with one battalion of orcs and from the middle pretty good idea to try to attack your opponent through a few different directions at the same time orc archers will be added to the composition of turgon and we got nathan who is just spotted first slaughterhouse who is unprotective and turgon will lost most likely this first slaughterhouse those orc warriors will not even get a bit towards uh, those uh, goblin warriors Goblin Warriors get level 3, not yet any of those goblins have been killed. While mm, Turgon is trying to get to Nathan's base, uh, dealing some damage to the tunnels, as we can see, not lots of damage have been done. Tunnelland mm, mostly get to waste. Nathan is going uh, straight for the fissure, there is from the right side. We got another Uruk uh, Orc Battalion, Uruk Orc Warriors Battalion while Nathan is still getting himself a nice setup, a nice uh, setup of tunnels on the left side um, he was forced to cancel this one to not lose any more money, any more treasures some orc warriors uh, punching, uh, have been punched by work rider works over here <coughs> Fisher is ready and Nathan is definitely going for some trolls in the first time while his opponent is going for uh, Har Harari Palace We got Orc Archers on the field, um, two battalions actually dealing damage to Goblin Warriors, definitely good defensive strategy and if you want to defend your uh, slaughterhouses, of course this is what uh, Turgon want to do. He may lose this one over here on the peak of his base and I think it actually will happen uh, even if those uh, Orc Archers are trying to deal some damage towards those goblins. Yeah, goblins take level 3, take down the slaughterhouse of Turgon. And we got Nathan who is going for m some cave trolls on the way. And some or orcs are heading towards middle. But of course there is not a uh, lot of composition over here from Turgon. While Turgon got everything in his base, he stopped uh, rushing his opponents, stopped attacking him. He's only concentrate with protection of his uh, slaughterhouses. Another tunnel near the base, uh, two goblin archers and two goblin warriors in the tunnel, so definitely good setup, good defensive setup. Nothing will sneak by it. Nathan get for himself as well uh, cave throw, and he will get a tree in his hand and definitely to knock down more and more units in the one punch. 
while Turgan is still struggling to take down those goblin warriors who are only here to um, make you losing time in your base Nathan is going with a pretty huge attack Well, we can speak about this uh, in this time uh, this terms Asterling is going towards middle Aster uh, middle work pit while the entire attack uh, like 3 or even 4 goblin warriors and 2 goblin archers a battalion is heading the way towards middle as well Mm, Turgon is still preoccupied by those uh, few goblins over here. He should definitely leave them on the way and goes with those uh, orc archers and orc warriors towards the middle. We can see what's going to happen at the moment. Middle will be taken over by uh, Nathan and uh, Turgon will most likely not be able to take this, those treasures and experience from the rumbles. Of course, he's trying to do it, but no. It's not going to happen. To all those Asterings have been killed. Now Turgon mm, got to, I think, retreat even. The strolls over here. Uh, Rumbles should go to um, mm, to Nathan at the moment. What he's doing with one Goblin Warriors battalion is trying to take down those Rumbles while entire all entire units are trying to get into Orcs and Orc Archers, as we can see. And here is a troll of a stick, he will definitely deal damage towards those orcs, one hit and kill them all. Goblins get level 3, treasures are free to get uh, from both the players. From the left side and from the right side we got uh, Nathan who is trying to get to the slaughterhouse as well. It's looking good for him on the left side as well of his base, he's got uh, two more goblin warriors in the base, still producing, um, actually producing some halver marauders and not producing units and the goblin caves but definitely with the stroll and the stick he got definitely an advantage over here oh it's gonna be costly by, uh, by Turgon if he's not going to retreat those orc archers he's trying to aim troll with those orc archers they are dealing, dealing some kind of damage of course and the stroll may fall down over here and dealing no damage uh, more towards those uh, orc archers so pretty good move by Turgon at, at the moment here comes uh, cave bats from uh, Nathan and Tanland from Turgon. Definitely, Turgon shouldn't use here Tanland while those uh, bats are on him. Mm, Haltro murders dealing damage towards work pet and uh, leave the rumbles on the left side. He should definitely take care about it and deal damage, get, uh, get treasures from it. And more and more units from uh, Turgon at the mo from Nathan at the moment. Uh, he's still producing some Goblin Warriors uh, constantly and uh, got some units into enemy's base. Turgon get himself a troll cage. He's about to create maybe some mountain trolls, but of course he should be aware about those uh, Haltro murders and that they are definitely going to stop the mountain trolls uh, with ease. Nathan with his half through murder is going towards the troller, getting the systematic troll, maybe troller as well, get experience and treasures as well from the middle workler. So definitely this game is on his back. He got uh, all, almost map control as we can see on the left side, on the right side as well on the left side of his map. He got entire map control over here. This one mountain troll will not be will be able to get to the point of this troll that he's almost dead but those goblins should definitely concentrate on him with poison uh, blades it actually happened and there goes troll over here of course uh, Nathan will be forced to send maybe this goblin that he got in the mineshaft to get experience and uh, treasures uh, for goblin here comes another goblin cave uh, more and more um, Haltru marunders will appear Nathan's second uh, power is a scavenger who will get some uh, additional resources from killing units. Definitely good, uh, good spell over here. Turgon was able to creep his uh, right side workler, the saved one. There is nothing in, uh, to, in Nathan's uh, tunnel at the moment. As Nathan is trying still and still create more and more stuff, more and more goblin warriors and goblin archers, and of course, Haltro marauders. And here is Mountain Troll as well as Industry for one of those uh, slaughterhouses from Turgon. And here is Major Attack from uh, Nathan towards Turgon. 
Nathan got lots of units over here, no goblin archers, but he got Gorlick almost level 2 with uh, Skylon Totem, it's like uh, have a tunnel land on him. Go, um, orc archers definitely dealing uh, enough damage towards uh, Hot Room Marauder, so it's okay. And I think Turgon will stay alive in this, uh, in this fight over here. Here we go, fighting between Esterlings and a Troll. And in the right moment, uh, those uh, goblin archers appear near the mm, near those uh, esterlings. Those esterlings will be killed immediately, and uh, the entire cave trawler will goes to Nathan, and his treasures and experience will be get from it. So he will get both of those uh, trawlers, as we can see from his command. Here comes Skyrim Totem. He comes. He got scavenger as well. Here comes uh, Mountain Troll, but he's not the best idea towards, there is not lots of um, half through murders, but of course there is few level 5 on Orc Archers, it's a definitely good idea, good job over here, level 5 on another Goblin, uh, another Orc Archers as well, but it's definitely not enough, still. Golik uh, trying to fight with uh, Mountain Troll, he is knocked down by uh, this Mountain Troll and uh, Orc stealing damage towards him. Mm, some more Orc pits will be added towards the composition of uh, Turgon. Turgon will definitely kill the Golik on level 4 for uh, Nathan and Nathan is going with another strategy. He got some Lumber Mills over here. This Lumber Mills should be definitely somewhere closer towards those trees because at the moment those labors got to go a long way towards uh, the trees that should be closer somewhere over here but it's uh, just technical difficulties let's get into the fight uh, more goblin warriors appear dealing damage to the slaughterhouses as well those half through murderers and other goblin warriors battalion this uh, slaughterhouse on level 3 with uh, industry on him definitely getting uh, Turgon lots of uh, money at the moment of course Turgon got uh, Nathan got for himself scavenger for it and he took down this uh, troll over here he will get the money and treasures from it as well as here he's going and produce some wetman of the land in the meantime from then I left in Definitely they will get the uh, damage done and get resources from Turgon that he should get definitely lots of those resources at the moment. Turgon got still his worker got still works with uh, mountain trolls. They're not that great of course uh, against the uh, half troll murderers, but of course there is there is why Turgon got orc archers to deal with them. Nathan adding another tower arrow then towards uh, his fortress as he's aware about attack from his opponent Goblin archers doing damage to uh, Esterlings and uh, Orc Warriors in the meantime more Esterlings appear near the Builder and uh, he's creating a tunnel this tunnel will go down and Builder uh, most likely as well will go down for Nathan so they're gonna catch a good amount of um, treasures here from Turgon uh, from Nathan. Here comes Wiseman Dalland with some uh, goblin warriors. It's going to be enough to kill those. They're getting even torches at the moment. So it's going to be enough to kill those Asterlings with his get uh, experience and uh, money, resources. And more and more units from Turgon. He got lots of units at the moment, to be honest. Level 6 on the troll, level 2 on troll, and um, this troll that just appear good amount of uh, orc archers as well, he's not going for heroes, he doesn't have uh, doom spillers but Devon he got a good amount of setup at the moment but this is why, this is why Nathan haven't been producing units because he was waiting for Drogov, Drogon Lord of Dragons and he's going towards everything, he can kill almost everything with this Drogov leveling up him give him more and more experience and stuff. Here comes uh, Gorlik as well. 
and only thing that uh, definitely may deal some damage towards him are those orc archers that will be definitely killed in one punch as we can see over here even mountain trolls are killed and drogue of god almost level 2 at the moment with scavenger he will definitely get lots of resources from it while Turgon got for himself only a Nazgul at the moment, it's not, uh, he's not capable of dealing damage towards this uh, flying beast. While Nathan will definitely get uh, resources a little bit and experience for his drogo at the moment. Nathan is going with upgraded uh, Goblin Caves to level 3 even. Wetman of Dunland dealing damage towards Orc Archers as well. And Nathan take control over the map one more time, destroying all the slaughterhouses that he saw. Wetman of Dunland with torches dealing definitely a great damage. Here, here is a level 3 Nazgul with Dread Visage, of course. Turgon is trying to create more and more orc archers, but I don't think so it's enough. He will lose all of those uh, slaughterhouses in his base almost. And this Rogov uh, that is actually... where is the Rogov? Over here will definitely dealing enough damage towards his base and uh, other stuff. So Turgon is a um, lock in his base. Fireball will goes towards uh, orc archers and they will be killed. Here is a worm as well that is trying to destroy, is going to destroy palaces and maybe some kind of uh, orc beds. Undertaking of the on this uh, land over here by Nathan and this land is over his control over here uh, at the moment. Worm is still trying to deal more and more damage. He will definitely get towards this uh, orc, but he could go towards this uh, slaughterhouse on level 3. But anyway, this looks like that uh, Turgon will not get uh, away from this, uh, from this army. There's enough stuff to destroy him. More and more will come a long way. And treasure Throne will be added towards the composition of uh, Nathan and Nathan get for himself uh, barraged as we can see lots of those uh, goblin uh, caves are damaged uh, pretty heavy but it doesn't matter at the moment yes and it looks like Turgon decided to leave the game he will, he got no chance against the Drogov and this entire army to prevent with only Nazgul so now anyway pretty good game by both the players as always with certain advantage at the uh, beginning from Turgon, uh, but later on, it was Nathan who definitely get himself in the better position. Micro in better get a map control and map awareness. So it was pretty good game by both the players, but uh, better one. So it's tie at the moment, one to one, in this last quarterfinal. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this cast and have a fantastic day. Bye bye.